Hey everyone, this is Lucy and in this video I'll be walking you through 5 beginner friendly AWS cloud projects. Now, as I've said on this channel over and over again, the best way to build your hands-on skills with AWS is by creating a project. Certifications are a great starting point, but to really bridge that gap between your theoretical knowledge and what's required to land a job in the cloud, it's important for you to think about how you can use multiple AWS services together to build a solution. This solution could be a static website, a mobile application, or even a chatbot that can respond to simple queries. The possibilities are endless, but the problem is, how do you get started? Should you read through hundreds of pages of documentation first, or should you just jump straight into it and hope for the best? Well, to be honest, there's no one correct approach when starting a cloud project. Some people prefer to follow a step-by-step -step tutorial, while others might want the flexibility to build something without the exact instructions already provided to them. My personal preference, and what I recommend to beginners, is to follow guided tutorials for your first few cloud projects. More importantly, learn how to document them and speak about your projects during cloud interviews. And so over the next few months, I'll be releasing a series of videos to help you build AWS cloud projects at three different skill levels, beginner, intermediate, and advanced. If you want to stay updated, make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications. All right, let's just dive straight into it. The first beginner cloud project is to build a daily task scheduler application using Party Rock. This platform allows you to create an application by simply describing what you want, making a great choice for beginners looking to build AI applications. To get started, visit Party Rock's website and create an account. Select the build your own app option and this will open up an interface for you to create your own application. Now, you might be wondering what can Party Rock actually be used for? Well, as cheesy as it sounds, the possibilities are endless. You can create applications for your own personal use, such as a to-do list or resume builder. You could also create an application for your workplace, such as a project management tool. With Party Rock, people have even built things like like motivational quote generators and personality quizzes. If you'd like to learn how to build a daily task scheduler application, I've included the full tutorial in the description below. I've also created a guidebook with the complete step-by-step -step instructions to all five projects in this video, so feel free to check that out as well. But yeah, here are the overall steps you need to take if you'd like to build it out. So start by entering a detailed prompt that describes the daily task scheduler application you envision. Make sure you're descriptive enough so that Party Rock can understand exactly what you want. Once you submit your prompt, the AI gets to work, creating an application that fits your needs. After the application is generated, you'll be introduced to the customization process. This gives you the option to add widgets like user input, static text, image generation, and even a chatbot. You can also change the layout of your application to match your brand or personal preferences. Once you finalize your application, you can publish it and share it with others. The estimated time for this project is around 15 to 20 minutes, but of course, it all depends on how complex you want your application to be and how many features you'd like. The cost for this project is $0 since Party Rock is offering all users a free trial to their service. All right, project number two is to build an image labels generator using Amazon recognition. Now, this project is another fun one because we'll be processing images and labeling them. For example, if you have a photo of a cat, Amazon recognition will be able to identify what it is and label the image as a cat. As mentioned, I have the complete guidebook for all five projects in the description below, but here's the architectural diagram and the overall steps you'll need to take to build out the project. So the journey begins with setting up an Amazon S3 bucket, which will serve as the repository for the images you wish to analyze. Next, you'll create an IAM role and make sure Amazon Recognition and S3 have access to each other. After that, you'll need to install the AWS CLI and write some code to use the detect labels option for images. And finally, use a Python library called matplotlib to visualize labels and add bounding boxes to items identified in the images. This is the result of what one of your images could look like. You could see that one use case of Amazon Recognition could be in a smart surveillance system to recognize suspicious objects and activities on the road. Other potential use cases include identifying products in a store for inventory management, analyzing customer behavior on retail stores, and providing accessibility options to those who are visually impaired. As you can probably tell, Amazon recognition is a pretty useful service that can be applied in many industries. So I would recommend building a project to get some experience with it and to see it in action. The project will take you about 20 minutes to build and falls within the free tier. Now, before we move on to the next project, I'd like to share with you a helpful tool that will significantly help you on your journey 
journey of building AWS cloud projects. Some of you might have heard of Miro before. They're a platform that offers an innovation workspace for teams to collaborate. Well, Miro has recently released a really cool feature called AWS Cloud View. AWS Cloud View allows you to instantly visualize your cloud architecture by directly importing data from your AWS account, creating a clear view in just 20 seconds. As you all know, architectural diagrams are a very important part of documenting every cloud project. So instead of manually creating your own diagrams, you can create them with the help of Miro. Here's how you can use Miro's AWS Cloud View. First, either link a cross-account role or upload a JSON file containing data about your AWS resources. Next, follow the instructions to select the relevant account and region you wish to visualize. And finally, sit back while they generate the diagram. Here's an example AWS diagram generated through Cloud View. If you're looking to present your cloud projects professionally or just want a faster way to create cloud architectures, AWS Cloud View in Miro is a complete game changer. I'll leave a link to it in the description below. Moving on to the third project, this one is to develop a text narrator using Amazon Polly. Now, Amazon Polly is a service that turns text to speech, allowing you to create an application that can talk. Now, this is great when you don't feel like reading something and just want to listen to the audio version. One example is converting a blog post into an audio book. Here's the architectural diagram for the project and the steps you'll need to take. So firstly, find a piece of text that you'd like spoken out. This could be anything from books and articles to newsletters and scripts. Next, create an AWS Lambda function that acts as a bridge between your text and Amazon Polly. After that, customize the voice in Amazon Polly to match the tone and style of your content, adjusting parameters like pitch and speed. Now, even though this project may seem simple, it does require a good understanding of AWS services and how to integrate them. It also gives you a taste of how powerful text-to-speech capabilities can be in enhancing customer experience. The estimated time to complete this project is 20 minutes and it also falls within the free tier. The fourth cloud project to help you get hired in 2024 is to build a language translation bot. This project uses three AWS services, AWS Lambda, Amazon Lex, and Amazon Translate. So for example, if you want to translate a word or sentence into another language, all you have to do is type it into the chatbot and it will output the translation. Sounds straightforward enough, right? Here's the architectural diagram and the steps you'll need to take. Firstly, create a chatbot in Amazon Lex and define clear user intents. Next, specify utterance or phrases that users might say to interact with your bot. Once that's done, define slots within the intents, such as language or text, to capture the specific information needed for the translation. After that, we're going to need a Lambda function that takes the slot data and perform a translation using Amazon Translate. And finally, we'll integrate the Lambda function back into the Amazon Lex chatbot and deliver the translation smoothly to the user. Some potential use cases of an Amazon Lex translation bot include assisting businesses in communicating communicating with international clients and helping travelers communicate with locals from different languages. You might be wondering, why can't I use a translation app that has already been made? Well, the answer is that businesses often require customized translation services, especially when dealing with technical terms or industry specific language. By using Amazon Lex, you have the flexibility to tailor your bot based on your specific needs. Overall, building a language translation bot not only showcases your knowledge of using AWS services, but is also a skill set for companies looking to build chatbots. This project will take you about one to two hours to build and can be done for free through the AWS free tier. The fifth and final project for today is to deploy a bucket list tracker application on AWS Amplify. This project, once you build it out, will help you keep a track of all the things you want to do in life. You can enter bucket list items and delete them once they're complete. Now, you can see that the architectural diagram for this project looks a bit more complex than the other ones, and that's because we'll need multiple AWS services to build this application. The first step is is to build your application with React, focusing on user-friendly design and functionality that allows users to manage their bucket list items effectively. Next, initialize a GitHub repo and connect your local development environment to GitHub. After that, use AWS Amplify to host your front end and implement Amplify authentication to add user authentication features like login and sign up. Once that's done, develop the backend using AWS AppSync and a GraphQL API for efficient data handling. You can then integrate it with DynamoDB for data storage. Finally, deploy your application on AWS Amplify, test it out, and make any necessary adjustments. Like all the other projects mentioned in this video, this one falls within the free tier. However, this final project will take you a bit longer to build, around one and a half to two hours. And there you have it, five AWS cloud projects to help you get hands-on, get hired, and advance your career.
If you found this video helpful, please remember to give it a like and let me know in the comments which project was your favorite. I'd also recommend checking out this video I made on how to document your AWS cloud projects. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.